Well, that's a great Sunday afternoon. Cleared all that away. Actually, we did more than we really were planning. We were only going to do the gates. Oh. <laughs> no, I planned to do the wall. Did you? I was never expecting to see our two penises again. Well, you can now. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> They're so much better. And there was even some ivy on there, so we got rid of that. So all in all, although... And we've cleared the weeds along the boundary wall. Ooh. As you. much as I'm going to do. We are meant to do along this field here as well. No, we're not. Shh. <laughs> but it looks really beautiful, the yes. daisies growing over and the French marigolds. So and the man walking up it. So we're leaving that. Mm. And if anyone complains, then um, it's nature. It takes over. It does, doesn't it? Nature. But yeah, good job. Well pleased. Let's go and have a drink. Well, morning everyone. Uh, we've got a couple more days before we need to start prepping ourselves for the gathering. So, as they sometimes say, go big or go home, so I'm going to go for it. So I'm going to turn if I get the last of this flooring out, get the new joists in, get the floorboard down, and then it matches all the way through, and uh, I don't have to worry about putting these offcuts over the holes. Well, as you can see, that's the majority of the floor gone. Fortunately, the old bells are ringing, 12 o'clock, it's coffee break. Yeah, there was a lot of, lot of water damage down there. I had replaced one of the joists uh, earlier, sorry, end of last year, when I did the uh, toilet there, which I'm quite glad I did actually. I'm gonna, I can only assume that maybe a lot of it was there used to be a water feature there. Clean your hands, obviously when you put the toilet, and I'm just you can only think that a lot of water's just either spilled or ended up down there. But yeah, a lot of that really was perished, including the parquet, which is a bit of a shame. Anyhow, um, I'll have a coffee, I'll get back in. Um, just need to tidy up the electrics under there, which I'll temporarily put in till I rechannel it. So um, we'll get some conduit in there and clean that up a bit, and then I can remove the joists. Fingers crossed we can get this done and OSB down maybe tonight. Yes? Lovely, isn't it? It's a good job that's not our only toilet. Do you know what? Would anyone notice if you didn't use it and just did it here? That's disgusting. <laughs> it is a mess, isn't it? You know your lift shaft? Oh, you should have put it in. You should have put it in, yeah. yeah. There we go. Anyhow, it'll all be good soon. By tonight, you said. I got to get two more joists. Two more joists off, and then we can start bracing. I hate these jobs. This is the last floor. Yes. Yeah. Is. I hate these um, stripping these arches. But this is the last arch, thank goodness. Well, as you can see, we got there. Oh, we got there. Completely down, finished off to the end. Now they can use the toilet, a bit of a plus. And even ran into my workshop. So, uh, but what a difference it makes. I'll just slowly pan around and you, you really can see, well, it, it gives it a lot of depth. It's really strange, but it does. And uh, the color, you know, it's just much lighter in here. Even though I said we're gonna do a dark floor, but that'll happen next month when I get a chance to uh, clean them all up. But yeah, good job, I think, uh, in the end, and uh, looking forward to what's coming next. Oh, what we got there? Basil brush, wire brush, or Dremel? Why are you using the Dremel? There's a reason I'm not using the Dremel. Tell me more. <laughs> you had my brushes out. You... Did I? 
<laughs> Oops. <laughs> they've, um, they've got no bristles on them. Well, that's because you stole my toothbrush. I had nothing else to use. <laughs> <laughs> I went for a pedicure here once and I was shocked. They used a Dremel on my feet and they're not that bad. Well, you ain't got any toes now, have you? So, yeah. Wow, wow. I can't believe they used a Dremel on my feet. So you're prepping ready to paint it then, the radiator? Yeah, I'm, I just want to get one coat. It's going to take two coats and I just want to get one coat on to make it look different. In that case, I'll leave it with you. <laughs> get, get wire brushing away. So we're looking for sconce or appliques, morel, as they say in France. But we need four of the same and it's proving really difficult. We might have to get two sets of two. Um, those ones are nice. I think they're too small. We're in um, one of our favourite Brocons in Laval. But yeah, those two, I've just decided they're too small. They're nice. But there's only three, which is a real shame because I could have ch changed the shades of those. That's all we ever find is three, isn't it? Or two, yeah. Typical banyol, three. That goes really well with the little lamp that I bought at the Vide Grenier and Banyol. Or the half lamp you bought. Yeah, look at these little shades, they're so cute. So this is what, what it's I'd a really chateau, like. chateau darling, not a doll's house. What I'd really like is four wall lights, appliques with double shade, just like this, that pop on top of the bulbs. Oh, okay. Look, like this. He's one I did earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Put that on your head. Nod. In, in dark blue, navy blue. There is a, a chandelier outside behind me with a blue to it, but I'm not sure it's your cup of tea. I will show everyone in a minute. And then there's these pliques over here. So the bottom ones are nice. Oh, I saw these, yes. And there's two of them. And there's two of the top ones, but I don't like the top ones. Yeah, no, I did see that and I did think exactly the same, they look good. And I thought I'd seen four. I wonder if we can mix and match. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a pick and mix sweet counter. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, other than that, it's a really, the, just the plain simple ones. No, and there I, is four in the other room. But I'd rather just, wait. We got. We should just wait till the right ones come up. We should not jump the gun on this one. I do like those. How dissimilar are those to the ones that I said that are too small over there, but actually with shades on, they might be quite right. Right. So this is one I was just mentioning to Cowl about, possibly for the hallway. I didn't know if it would work. Well, we might have find out. She's behind me. First instance was ew. Second instant is it's growing on me. It's just different, isn't it, to what we've got in the chateau at the moment. Uh, in the chateau, all our bear with me while I scroll around again. But they're all the traditional look with the glass, etc., like these. In fact, those two are really nice actually. Um, especially that one. It's got the train ready. But, third instant, is it growing even more or not? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Don't know. It's not got that instant, yes, I've got to have it. No, then don't bother. Don't bother. We'll ask how much it is. Anyway. Go on then, he's behind you. Let me show everyone again. Looks like it needs rewiring. See what everyone else thinks. Right, so we've asked the gentleman, Bruno, and he says, so if we get two of those, and two of those, mm, do they, could they be mix and match? He didn't actually know. give a price for the top ones, only the bottom ones, uh, which were a hundred for the pair. Yeah, you'd like to think that both of them would be a hundred a pair, in fact. And he says there is only three of the ones over there. Yeah, so they're out the door, definitely. And the blue... The chandelier, luminaire, whatever you want to call that. Yes, was 
350 euros and then the other one did we show the other one 400, 400. yes i did yes 450. we'll Again, think about it we gotta think about that one and we they're not things that move quickly let's ask the audience which chandelier they prefer <laughs> <laughs> phone a friend <laughs> Well, I'm slowly trying to get on top of the top field. As you can see, I've got uh, half it or so done. It's just so long, my machine struggles with it. But my good friend Paul, he's to the rescue. He's brought over his beast, which uh, apparently will cut one metre higher that you said, Paul, isn't it? It will go up to. So, uh, proof's in the pudding. I've given him a challenge. Let's see how he gets on. Well, that's working a treat. Amazing what you can get done around here if you offer someone a beer in the bar. Well, Paul got on top of this field or finished this pit over here that I was struggling with in my lawn. What a difference! What a difference! And, and if anything, it's actually made us realise, Caroline, that what a, just one more pair of hands makes such a difference. I can just leave him to get on doing that while I carried on cutting the other fields and um, really took the pressure off, unfortunately. I've still got to do down this side. And there's a 12 o'clock bells, which I love the sound of. Well, do you find anything? Is it ready? <laughs> Don't start yeah. that again. It's red on one side. Should we taste it? Go for it. No, no, no. Will you taste it? Aren't you supposed to be with champagne? Mm. Well, there you go then. Mm. That answers that. Yeah, that's so good, that's better than the ones we saw in the supermarket that we didn't buy because they weren't nice. But there's not enough here well, to serve with the champagne, unfortunately. It might be tomorrow or Saturday. Mm, maybe. We'll keep on it, but anyway, it's working well. It's, um, yeah, there's some good looking ones in there. Better than you, darling. <laughs> well, that's not hard, is it? <laughs> so what about over here? What's happening over here with the potato? <laughs> Ready for you? Well, I've got earth up, have I? Earth them up. Mm, okay. I'm not sure I want to put that on camera, being a bit of a. I'm not really an Alan Titchmarsh, am I? Oi! Off my strawberries, you two! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad Carol and I cleared out this, this room over in the coach house because I've now moved all the parking over here. And, uh, oh my word, I'm absolutely surprised how much timber or how much park I've taken up. There is loads. I feel like there's more here than there was in the actual uh, salon. So a lot of work I've got to do here, but I might as well do it over here. Make a mess. Doesn't matter about dust, etc. Clean all these up. Quite a few pieces I'm going to have to replace where they're rotten. As I said before, I've got some spare pieces still from the top floor that I could probably use, actually. So uh, hopefully all good. But I've still got the stairway to take up as well and round the stairway by the temporary kitchen. So there's still a lot more parquet to come down here. But yeah, wow. Well, hi everyone. Uh, a lot of comments coming through. We always try to read all your comments, really do. Um, but a lot of people saying, show me the salon again. So here we go. A very quick look into the salon. The sun's only literally just come up. So uh, it's a bright early day for us. Um, we've actually got to fly into Mayenne actually, go and meet some friends and then uh, back to work this afternoon. Uh, but also, while I'm thinking about it, a lot of people also have been saying they're not getting notifications, etc., uh, for our videos, which is uh, a little disappointing, especially when we obviously do the premieres and they want to join in. If you get a chance, I know YouTube do this, check yourself subscribe because a lot of people are saying they're not even subscribed. And they don't, I, we don't understand why at uh, YouTube do this, but uh, if you get a moment, it is free. They don't charge you for subscribing and it really, really does help us actually. So subscribe, hit the notifications, and then hopefully you will always be told as soon as we do or Beth puts a video out uh, and give us a like. We always like a like. But other than that, have a great day. So we popped into our major town, I guess, to us, Mayen. Gorgeous chateau. And uh, what a result. As we're part of having our coffee, Caroline, Citroen Club turns up. And these are some stunning, stunning cars. 
Lovely and blue. Very proud of their cars.